Hi and welcome to week 24 of economics. So this week um, we're going to go through some intricate theories in the world of economics. We're going to look at policies and real world, real world excuse me, challenges and how they intersect to shape the, our current economic landscape. Our exploration will encompass a variety of topics from macroeconomic policies to economic theories and we'll delve into the pressing issues facing the United States today. So we're going to begin with the federal budget of the U.S., a perennial concern for policymakers and citizens alike. Currently, the U.S. government faces several significant issues regarding its federal budget. These include the sustainab sustainability of long-term spending commitments, such as Social Security and Medicare, the growing national debt, and the challenge of balancing competing budgetary priorities, such as defense, healthcare, education, and infrastructure. Next, we're going to be analyzing the impact of expansionary and contractionary fiscal policy on the economy. Expansionary fiscal policy involves increasing government spending and or cutting taxes to stimulate economic growth and reduce unemployment during periods of economic downturn. Conversely, contractionary policy involves decreasing government spending and or raising taxes to cool down an overheating economy and combat inflation, inflation being a steady uh, increase in prices over time. These policies have significant implications for economic activity, employment, inflation, and government debt levels. Moving on to more of a um, theory-based um, subject, we're going to explore classical economics. Classical economics emerged in the 18th century and 19th century and laid the foundation for modern economic thought. Classical economists, which we have covered in term one, such as Adam Smith and David Ricardo, emphasized the importance of free markets, limited government intervention, and the role of self-interest in driving economic behavior. You might remember the concept of the invisible hand. They believed that markets, if left to, op to operate freely, would efficiently allocate resources and generate long-term prosperity. Next, we'll delve into the basic principles of supply-side economics, a school of thought thought that gained prominence in the 1980s. So supply-side economics focuses on stimulating economic growth by incentivizing producers, primarily through tax cuts and de deregulation. Proponents argue that reducing taxes and regulations encourages investment, entrepreneurship, and innovation, leading to increased production, job creation, and overall economic prosperity. Finally, will identify how political leaders have attempted to control the deficit, another persistent challenge in the U.S. economic policy. Over the years, uh, political leaders have employed various strategies to address the deficit, including spending cuts, tax increases, entitlement reforms, and efforts to stimulate economic growth. However, finding a politically viable and economically sustainable solution to the deficit remains a contentious issue, with competing interests and ideolo ideologies shaping policy debates. So to conclude, the topics we'll explore this week will um, uh, take us into the complexities of and the challenges that policymakers face. So from managing the federal budget to implementing fiscal policy, understanding economic theories, and addressing the deficit, these issues shape the economic landscape and impact the lives of people around the world. By examining these topics in depth, we will gain invaluable insight into the workings of the economy and the policies needed to promote and sustain growth and prosperity. So I want to thank you for following along. I look forward to seeing you all and working with you in class. Thank you.